My name is Deborah Hellitzer. I'm the Dean and a professor in the College of Health Solutions. In addition to being the Dean, I'm a population health researcher. I couldn't remember what I wanted to be when growing up, so I hunted down my fifth grade yearbook. It says that I wanted to be a teacher. I guess I achieved my goal. It's important to work towards gender equity in my field because while women in the U.S. universities and college held nearly half of all tenure track positions in 2018, they held just 40% of tenured positions and even fewer of full professors of women, about 26%. And in my field, only 14% of the deans and other senior leaders were women, despite women making up almost 50% of the faculty. The advice that I would give about standing up for myself would actually be two things. I was often afraid to trust my instincts and propose ideas to people who are my supervisors or people in higher positions than me. So I would just let those ideas simmer in my head, but eventually I just drop them. Now I realize that I could have prepared a proposal, verbal or written, and presented it to someone who could evaluate it. So don't give up on your ideas. The second thing is that I would learn how to negotiate. For some reason, women don't ask. I talk to myself and say two things. Negotiate for your children, not for yourself. And the worst that, can, that someone can answer is no. It's important to acknowledge that women are still disadvantaged in pay, in stature, and in acceptance. However, the evidence suggests that women-owned businesses in the United States continue to grow at a faster rate than those owned by men. Not only that, women-owned businesses are generating more revenue, hiring more employees, and contributing more to the national economy. And a contemporary story, the five countries that, are, that had the best outcomes related to the COVID pandemic are being led by women. Australia, New Zealand, Germany, Iceland, and Taiwan. Particularly this year, women have been much more disadvantaged than men. Women have been the family members to stay home and help kids with online school. There has been much more domestic violence against women in the last year. Many of my women faculty are stressed out to the max. I don't see the same level of stress among my male faculty. I heard someone say that women have lost 20 years of progress in the last 12 months. One of the women I most admire is Madeline Albright. She's a dignified, brilliant, and thoughtful woman. Like my mother's family, she immigrated from Europe during World War II. She carries herself with pride, making her seem much taller than she is. I like her jewelry, the brooches she wears on the left side of her suit jacket, and she has great stories. My favorite quote of hers is, there's a special place in hell for women who don't help other women. She has said many times that there seems to be enough room in the world for mediocre men, but not for mediocre women. And we really have to work very, very hard. My experience is that this is still very true.